Hi everyone, James Hudson here. Just thought I'd do you a quick video. It's a little bit windy today, so I can hope you can hear me over the noise of the wind. Um, but I thought I'd follow on from my previous video about Stephen Covey's third alternative. So um, just to uh, remind you, the third alternative is Stephen Covey's uh, last piece of work uh, before he sadly passed away. Uh, and the third alternative is all about working together, collaborating and finding a better alternative. So central to the whole, um, to the whole principle of the third alternative is the ability to have conversations with people who disagree with you. Uh, as Covey puts it in the book, if you and someone else have the same point of view, then one of you is pointless because all you're going to do is agree um, and there's, there's no way of finding a, a new solution or a new alternative. So central to it is actually having conversations with people who disagree with your point of view um, and finding out and listening and understanding their point of view because it's only from that that you can find uh, better alternatives because I haven't got uh, the, the best answer to the solution uh, and equally the other party hasn't got the best answer to the, to, to the solution but by working together and understanding each other we can find an alternative that isn't their alternative or my alternative but it's a better alternative than we would have come up with on our own. Um, an example of this would be Brexit. So I hate to bring up Brexit uh, and I don't want this to be about politics, um, but it is quite interesting how there are some very opposing different points of view uh, on Brexit. So um, I was having a conversation the other day with someone who um, I've got to know rather well over the last sort of six or seven months. Um, and we'd never had a conversation on Brexit at all, but because it's so much in the news right now, uh, we started to have a little conversation. Um, and he was saying, um, you know, I voted leave and I wish they'd just get on with it. Um, you know, everyone, I don't know a single person who voted for Remain, so everyone wants to leave and we should just get on with it now. Uh, and I kind of said, well, hmm, hang on a minute, actually. Uh, I voted Remain um, and, um, you know, not, not everyone uh, has the same point of view as you. Uh, but it was quite interesting to note that we surround ourselves by people who agree with us. So I had a similar point of view that everyone I know voted Remain. Uh, and obviously he had a point of view that everyone he knew voted Leave uh, because we tend to surround ourselves with people who agree with us as opposed to actually finding people who disagree with us uh, so that we can actually have a conversation that leads us to both understanding and we did that and we, we sat and we talked about our points of view um, and we actually found that we agreed on a whole number of issues uh, around Brexit actually when we sat down and started talking about it uh, instead of avoiding the conversation so it's really important that you have conversations with people who have different points of view to you because that's how you learn, that's how you grow, that's how you find different alternatives and better ways forward by having conversations with people who have different points of view. Uh, the problem is that we tend to stereotype, the media gives labels to people so if you voted leave you must mean think this and this and if you voted remain you must think this and this we do it in everything uh, even in religion so if you're that religion you must believe this and if you're an atheist you must therefore believe this uh, you know if you're pro-life you you believe this and if you're pro-choice you believe that um, and so we label and stereotype people rather than actually getting to understand them and understand things uh, and their point of view uh, we tend to put everyone into boxes and black and white thinking as opposed to actually everything's kind of grey, um, you know, and everyone is an individual with their own points of view that are there for us to understand. There's not good or bad people, there's good and bad in everybody. Um, and so it's not this just black and white, it's very much grey and uh, finding third alternatives is all about understanding one another and coming together and finding a better alternative. Not my alternative, not your alternative, but one where we both win-win. Uh, so yeah, that's my message for today. Uh, find people you disagree with and have conversations with them, listen and understand their points of view. At the very least, you'll come away with a better understanding and a more solid uh, belief in your point of view and your opinion. All right, have a great day, everyone, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.